Has anybody else having a hard time getting to sleep? Staying to sleep? Getting the sleep that you need? Because last night I got about a half hour's worth of sleep, folks, and I did not feel good when I woke up at all. And, but I made it to work. I went to work, I made it to work, and I was only two minutes late. That's really good. And, not good that I was late. I don't ever, ever like being late. But considering the time that I woke up, I did pretty damn good, let me tell you. So I'm not really sure what is going on, folks. I know that I have cut my spending down. And just even the little things, even the little things, folks, that adds up. And if I get X amount of money, then I will go to Bell's Orno IGA. I'm just going to say that. I think I mentioned it one more time. One other time, a few videos back, I really like that store. I was never an IGA shopper, but they have some really, really good deals, folks. Even now, they've, they've got like 10 containers for $10 of yogurt, and they've got a few other deals. The 10 for 10 deals are almost pretty much gone. So when I see 10 for 10, I, I really look to see if that's something that I would, one, want, two, need, or if it's something that I could care less if I had or not, right? So, the shopping is, just like all of you folks should be, is we really need to pay attention to what we're spending our money on. We really need to pay attention to deals and sales. And we need to make that dollar stretch, right? So we could go on and on and on about how the, the dollar is crashing. We can go into Saudi Arabia, the Wuhan, OPEC, all of that. But I'm not going to do that. You folks watch a lot of the same channels that I do and know the concern, right? So I'm not going to get into that. What I am going to get into is how bad is it going to get? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of scare tactics out there. There's a lot of fear mongering. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of a lot of panic. There's a lot of spreading of panic. There's there's all of that, right? We when it boils right down to it, we don't know and we won't know until something happens, right? I am making every cent count. I am not squandering any money away whatsoever. I am not buying anything unless I absolutely feel that I need it now or will need it when all hell breaks loose, basically, right? So I'm not saying that all hell is going to break loose. What I am saying is it sounds like we're nearing that, that point where we've got two weeks, right? Everybody knows what's happening in two weeks. So, and some know that they don't want to lose. So I wonder, Cousin Shay was down, and I mentioned it to her. I said, you know what? I said, in two weeks something is going to happen in this country where we cast our vote, right? Now that's a big, that's a big pivoting moment in my opinion. I told her I don't even know if we are going to get to vote, folks, because they already know the outcome. So they are going to try to, in my opinion, in my opinion, they are going to try to make it so... There is no option to cast out a vote. Now, I may be completely 100% wrong. And I may be flawed in my thinking. But from what I have seen, I would not put it past them. Right? I just wouldn't do that. So that is where 
my mind is, and that's what I that's what I think. And maybe two weeks that will prove me wrong. But something that we really need to help this country, uh, they they won't allow that to happen. I I truly believe that. Now, like I said, I could be completely one hundred percent wrong. But I guess I guess we will see, right? Desperate people will do desperate things. And I'm just going to leave it at that and hope I am wrong. And I hope that in two weeks we will have a legit and honest casting of the ballot, ballot and an honest count. That's what I am saying. That's what I am saying, folks. So, that's what's on my mind. There's a lot on my mind, folks, and a lot of it I just go, you know what? I don't care about that. There's more important things. The small things in life are, are just that. It's small. We need to focus on the big things that are going to bring our future into the positive instead of in the negative we need to make sure that bellies are fed we need to make sure that our bodies are hydrated we need to make sure that we are safe we need to make sure that we are warm and we need to make sure that we have everything in place that we need and if it was all for naught then what have we lost folks what have we lost what have we lost we haven't lost anything not a thing right so, snowflies are out, folks, and for some reason they like the eyes. They do. They like the eyes, or at least my eyes. So, I guess I'm not going to go any further than that. I know other channels are getting a little slap on the back of the hand for saying what they believe, and I don't want a slap on the hand. So. Y'all are smart enough to read between the lines. A lot of you feel the same exact way I do. And we're just going to have to see what happens with the ticking of the clock, right? It's a scary world, folks. It really is. It's There's so much uncertainty. And it's very important that we have everything in place that we need because at any time anything could happen, right? Even a... Even a personal tragedy could happen, and we need to be prepared for that too, right? So, even if it's only for yourselves, I hope you are preparing. If you are preparing for anything that, that may happen, because I can tell you right now, folks, Somebody is going to do something and cause a red flag or somebody is just going to wake up on the wrong side of the bed and say, you know, I've had enough and we're just going to go all in. Boy, don't I long for yesteryear. Don't I long for yesteryear when we didn't have to worry about a lot of this stuff. At least not on our doorstep, right? So that's all I've got to say. I'm just talking about what's on my mind. Actually, I'm not even talking about all that's on my mind because I don't really dare to open up. But I know, again, you all are smart enough to read between the lines. We all have the same, a lot of us have the same line of thinking. So I know you're getting what I am saying. And we just need to crawl into our bubble if something were to happen we need to make that a strong bubble we need to make that a happy bubble we need to make that a safe bubble right and if you see me looking over here i'm watching an eagle fly over the bog folks so but anyway i don't know where i was the eagle keeps distracting me it's just going around in big circles and i've got ducks out in the bog so but anyway, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to stop right there. And folks, we really do need to buckle up. 
in case something does happen. And if nothing happens, then again, what have we lost? We haven't lost a damn thing, right? We haven't lost anything. We don't have to go to the store quite so often. I know gas is going to start going up, so I hope you all are topping off your everything that takes gas. I hope you're topping off your gas cans. I hope you're using whatever you use. I use Marine Stable here. And rotating. Rotating, rotating, rotating. That not only means gas, that means your food and your water. And sometimes your mind and your thoughts have to rotate a little bit too, right? So that's all I've got to say. As you can see, it's getting kind of drab. A lot of the leaves have fallen off in this rain and wind. It's looking more like fall. It's feeling more like fall. The bog has really climbed in, in water volume today. When I left this morning, I saw in my headlights that it was higher than it was when I went to bed. And when I come home tonight, it was a lot higher than it was this morning, folks. So if it keeps climbing up, then uh, we might have a flooded road tomorrow morning. So I'm not sure about work. And I sure do hope that I feel better tomorrow. Hopefully tonight I can get a little bit more sleep. And start the grind all over tomorrow, right? So I want to thank you folks for being good people. I want to thank you folks for having a brain. I want you to know that I understand your comments. I can read your comments. I can read what you don't say. And uh, it's up to us if we're going to make it through all this. It's up to us. And then we have to prepare ourselves from the people who haven't prepared that have been blind, right? Right now, that's one of the scariest things that we will all have to face. In my opinion, are others who have hungry bellies. So, y'all have a good night. I hope you're sleeping well. I hope you are eating right. I hope you are planning, adjusting, improvising. Anything that you need to do to make sure that you are 100% where you need to be. Now, somebody said the other day, you can't be 100%. Well, I agree with that, but you can give 100% effort, right? Your 100, is, your 100, is your effort 100% where it needs to be? If it's 50%, double up, right? If it's 100%, you can relax a little bit, but I would still add to what you have. I would think outside the box and think where you can improve a little bit, right? So, that's all I've got tonight. That's what's on my mind. And I might lose a few subscribers because I went a little bit on the, the negative side. But that's, that's where my mind is. That's where my heart is. And I know a lot of you are in the same boat I am. And you just want to survive, folks. You want your loved ones to survive. And you want to come out on the other end good people, right, with morals, knowing that you survived and did it honestly, right, and ethically. All right, folks, y'all have a good night, and thank you for being here. I appreciate it.